Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Let's take a look at a, an example problem uh, that might be rather relevant to you when you're working on your homework. And this is the following problem. You're going to fire a bullet horizontally, okay, perfectly horizontally when you launch it. And it's going to fly 50 meters to a target. and it will fall three centimeters on its way. Okay, so you are firing a, your rifle 50 meters to the target and the bullet's going to fall three centimeters on its way. So let's draw what this looks like. Here you are. You've got your bullet that is launched horizontally and it's just going to fall a little bit. Okay, so if we continue that horizontal line, it would look like that. So this distance here, we can call x final, is 50 meters. And this distance here is 3 centimeters. Okay, let's ask the following question. Let's ask the question, what is the speed of the bullet, and how long does it take? What is the time equal to? All right, we have a picture. We have some givens. We need to figure out how we're going to deal with this. So. First off, we need to draw a coordinate system. And why don't we say that the coordinate system is right here. This is x, this is y. And if that is x and y, then we can say x initial is 0, x final is 50 meters, y initial is 0, y final is what? What is y final equal to? Yeah. Negative three centimeters. Negative three centimeters. So if we do that in SI units, it would be 0 0.03 meters. Yeah? What else do we know about the motion of this bullet? Well, it's projectile. So a projectile has zero acceleration in the x direction, negative 9.8 in the y direction. And we also know something else. Namely, we said that the bullet is fired horizontally. And if it's fired horizontally, what is vy initial? What does VY initial have to be if it's fired perfectly horizontally? Zero, right? That's zero. Okay, so this is everything we know. I mean, it's quite a bit, right? We know a lot of stuff. So now let's grab some kinematic equations and see if we can answer these two questions. What's the speed of the bullet and how long does it take? So we want to figure out what the speed of the bullet is. And we said that it's fired horizontally, so Vy initial is zero, and so really all we're looking for is Vx initial. All right, we might be able to do that, because let's go to our kinematic equations. One of the kinematic equations we have is the following. X final equals X initial plus Vx initial times T plus one half a sub x, t squared. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's plug in what we know. We know x final. We know x initial is zero. Vx initial is what we're looking for. We know that a sub x is zero. And so we get a nice little equation here. xf equals vxi times t. Do we have enough in this equation to solve for Vxi? No, we don't, right? Xf we know, but Vxi we don't know, and T we don't know. 
So we need something else to help us solve for t. And that's where the y motion comes into it. y final equals y initial plus v y initial times t plus one half a sub y t squared. And let's see what we know. We know y final, right? That is our negative three centimeters. y initial, we said was zero. v y initial, we said was also zero, since it was fired horizontally. And a y is negative g. And so now we have a nice little equation here that we can solve for t. Let's do that. We'll solve it for t and we'll plug it back into our other equation. Uh, yf equals minus one half gt squared. Uh, let's see if we can solve this thing for t. We have to multiply across by two. It's actually a negative two, right? So we have negative two times yf over g. And we're going to take the square root of that. And you're a little concerned at this point because there's a negative sign in there. But we remember that yf is also a negative number. So this becomes negative 2 times negative 0 0.03 meters. We're all in SI units. And we're going to divide that whole thing by 9.8. So plug that into your calculator and tell me what you get. We've got the square root of 0.06 over 9.8. We'll approximate that. That is 6 times 10 to the minus 2 over 10. We're going to take the square root of that. And so that becomes 6 times 10 to the minus 3. But I don't know how to do that. So we'll change it to 60 times 10 to the minus 4. And the square root of 60 is about 8. It's a little bit less than 8. We'll say it's 7.9. And then we have a 10 to the minus 2. And so we're going to say that this is 0 0.079 seconds. That's my guess. Am I anywhere close? What'd you get? 0 0.078. 0 0.078. We'll adjust that one right there. So I'd, I'd say we were pretty close, right? Would you agree? 0 0.078 seconds is how long that bullet is in the air. Okay, so we've solved for T. And now we want to solve for V. What is the speed coming off? Vxi is equal to X sub F over T. X sub F we know is 50. And we are now dividing by 0 0.078. Tell me what you guys get for that. Anybody get an answer for that? 50 over 0 0.078? Yeah, what'd you get? 641. 641 meters per second, okay? Which is pretty fast, right? These are sort of typical speeds of bullets, but that's moving, right? That's very fast. Remember the rule for going from meters per second to miles per hour, you roughly double it, okay? So that's 1,200 miles per hour or something like that. Okay, any questions about this one, how we approach this? Okay, good. Hopefully that's clear. Uh, if not, definitely come see me in office hours. Cheers.